All right, let's get into oh, yeah. WWE Monday Night oh, Raw yeah. for March 22nd, 2004. Oh, yeah. The first that's ever right. draft lottery. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, desperate times called for desperate measures here. <laughs> WrestleMania 20 sucked. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> at least that's what it, at least that's what the observer would make you think. <laughs> yeah, of course, I'm sure. <laughs> well, it was Goldberg Tanner and Brock, too. so like Goldberg and Brock are gone, so they're doing anything to shake things up again. <laughs> mm, <laughs> we gotta sure. shake things up again for the fifth time. Uh, so we have some observer notes here. Uh, not too much WWE stuff, but really just to put you in the caps of all the crazy dumb shit that was going on at the time. Like we have here for March 15th, 2004 observer. The 3-5 Arena Mexico main event saw a weird ending as Vampiro, the NWA light heavyweight champion, walked out during his title defense against Black Warrior. I guess this was unplanned and Vampiro was supposed to retain the title, so it was ruled at no contest. The local newspaper reported the match was a mess. I like that the local newspaper said the match <laughs> sucked. <laughs> the crowd disliked it, and that Vampiro was an embarrassment for what he did. They even asked why the commission didn't strip him of his title, and went so far as to ask why there even is a commission if they allow stuff like this to go on. Vampiro's version of the story, and you certainly can take that with a grain of salt, is that he booked the finish, but the regular booker, Panico, asked him to drop the belt the night of the show. He walked out during the match, taking the belt with him and left the arena, and then he came back in and went crazy on everyone and won't be returning for a month. <laughs> <laughs> something gonna happen. That just seems like, that's what I was saying, that just seems like every event in Mexico something like that happens. I feel like I feel like that's every yeah. Every, every time, time I hear okay. something about a show in Mexico or something, it's something exactly like that almost to a T. <laughs> I want you to drop the belt. No! No way! <laughs> I'm out of here. Play my, my fucking music. music. <laughs> Hit it and cut it. Because I'm out. this fucking music. Music off. I'm not going out. <laughs> I'm playing my fucking music. <laughs> I'm winning tonight. You're not booked, and I'm over. I think I'm going to walk out uh, with the DPB national title. I'm going to walk out of the building. <laughs> I'm cool with that. <laughs> I heard that I was I booked the finish, and I also didn't like it. So I'm walking <laughs> you out. It low. <laughs> Who gave you this power? Who gave you the pencil? Buff Bagwell called into Harley Race's radio show on 3-9, complaining that he hasn't been able to get work. Harley Race said he tried to get him booked in Noah. <laughs> Nice of him. I just wanted to put that in there because it seemed outrageous. That is outrageous. <laughs> well, wow. called to his radio show to get booked at Noah. They would I do that a, a few... lot. Noah would send dudes to Harley Race's school. They would because he booked a lot of foreign, ta- like a lot of American talent for. They keep him in the do- in the because uh, Harley Race had like a dojo. You could sleep there. Do you re- recall any Buff Bagwell and Noah matches? Did he make it? Oh wow, I don't know. Let's I assume that he was in that big stable of Gaijin that they have. NWO. <laughs> There's another one now. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do my due diligence here and see if 2004 if Buff Bagwell had any Noah bookings. And doesn't look like any Japan tours. So Harley Race lied on radio. Wow. And you should hold him to that. It worked. Speaking of uh, outrageous things, there was apparently a backstage altercation between Rey Mysterio Sr. and Santo who both should be old enough by now to know better. That's the, I didn't write that. <laughs> that was in my note. Uh, at the 222 show in San Jose, Mysterio Sr. has had a bad shoulder, but of course works regularly on it. Apparently Santo gave him a stiff chair shot to the shoulder. As the story goes, Ray Mysterio Sr. asked Santo why he did it, and Santo felt he didn't have to answer. The two started arguing, and Mysterio hit him. <laughs> and started kicking. And, oh my god, he punched him, knocked him down, and then started stomping him out. <laughs> Mexico That's wins awesome. again. <laughs> Someone who, who has not been identified tried to break it up, but the original psychosis kept Demon Jr. from doing so. Wait. <laughs> Did he just identify who was? And then Jeff Jarrett walked in and... <laughs> Try to do all thing. Uh, for do so since Mysterio Jr. is a friend of an, and mentor, allowing Mysterio Sr. to get more kicks in on Santo on the ground. It's a combination of Mysterio Sr. having a hot temper and Santo not being liked by many due to envy because he makes so much more money than anyone else. <laughs> what? That's fucking Fuck. t- Why'd you hit me? Uh, ah! <laughs> this is a... This is an error that I wish I had been a part of. <laughs> Watching people punch each other in the back and stomp them out. I would have joined uh-huh. in on the stomping out just because it feels like the right thing Put to the do. boots to him. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Howard Stern on 3-9 was asked about doing WrestleMania. He said he was asked by Vince again this year. Uh... He's been asked many times by Vince to do big shows, but the WWE writers couldn't come up with anything entertaining for him to do. He said he asked Vince what he wanted to do, and Vince said, well, what do you want to do? 
He said he doesn't know. He doesn't exactly spend his days thinking about ideas he could do on a wrestling show. <laughs> he, <laughs> also, he also said off. that he was looking for one million dollars to do the show, and Vince was talking about five thousand or ten thousand, so they were far apart. He said he'd need more than five thousand dollars to lower himself to do a wrestling event. Now, how much do you think we get Howard Stern for now? Or maybe at least how about uh, it, Beetlejuice is still around? Yeah, he is. He's a what crazy think, dude on Instagram. He'll, he'll do another guitar shot. I feel like he would want to give the guitar a shot. I think that'd be I think I that'd think be worth five him. to ten thousand yeah. dollars. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> five or ten, whatever. <laughs> that's how we'll I will give you five or ten. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that sounds good. Uh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> the March twenty second, two thousand four observer. Uh this is a pretty interesting one. Flair was on ESPN 2's Cold Pizza. Hey, Tony. On 310. And because of all the baseball controversy and because John McCain was going to be on later talking about steroid use in sports, Flair was asked about the subject. He said there's no steroid use in WWE that the company randomly tests and they are absolutely prohibited. Uh, uh, Meltzer says, well, if he went in his time machine when it was 1992, he'd be pretty close to correct. (laughs) He said he'd never seen anyone do steroids but had heard rumors and said if you can't get it done in your own abilities, then go home. You don't belong here. Uh, not that this will happen, but the same company was devastated by a legendary uh, blonde world champion who said almost the same thing, but at least the other guy didn't try to claim the entire promotion was clean just himself. And speaking of blonde world champions, Triple H was on ESPN Radio the next day and asked the same question. He didn't seem ready for steroid talk because he's usually calm and relaxed discussing the subject and suddenly got real nervous and started stumbling. <laughs> when asked if he used steroids, he nervously said no. <laughs> he said that while athletes <laughs> have gone big... he just guess he nervously? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Who's asking? Maybe. <laughs> he said that while athletes have gotten bigger in other sports, the size of wrestlers have declined, which he tried to use as evidence to few doing steroids. He said he can't speak for every other work in the country, but said overall there is no problem. Meltzer says, that's such crap. <laughs> <laughs> Let them know. <laughs> Triple H says, no, bro. Everyone's clean. I'm super clean, too, for sure. Doesn't get any cleaner than the game. <laughs> uh, Jim Ross, in an interview with the Wrestling Guys radio show, said he wouldn't be surprised to see Austin wrestle at least another match. He said nothing is on the drawing board, but if his health continues to improve, they may do a retirement match at the right time and under the right circumstances. JR was just 10 years too early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, the March 29th Observer. The story on ICP is that... Th- this is about TNA, by the way. The story is that ICP is that they set up an after-show party on 317, but when they called to find out what their match was, they were told they weren't booked. They were told they could work on Explosion and do an interview or an angle for the on the pay-per-view. They called back after being told that and said they were not interested. Since you're not interested in using us, we're not going to come. <laughs> 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 so they just did their party instead. <laughs> That's awesome. JCW's still rocking today. They still do shows, right? Yeah, they do. That's fucking wow. awesome. I would love to. Uh, the Dude, the ICP fans, like, any show, indie show that I've gone to that just have, like, something to do with icp on him always doubles the crowd if not triples it like they really pack, wow. they pack a fucking house yeah i That's don't know if it's awesome. still the same now but like this was like probably like 0809 any like yeah like philly indies would always have the fucking clowns in and fucking yeah, just yeah, rock, just up the fucking crowd uh also That's said awesome. of course they wound up with major heat among the wrestlers all of whom at one point or another had worked explosion with the idea they didn't come because they thought they were too good for the show uh, but then ICP posted on a website saying they're on good terms with TNA and wish they could be there to hang out with Mike tonight. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> jo- James- Yo, check this out, man. What's JCW that? Volume 1 had titties and thumbtacks match. Whoa, who's in it? Uh, it looks like it is Angel versus Chick Foley. Whoa, that's awesome. And it was Titties also are- called Juggalo Champion Shit Wrestling. That was. It was. Uh, I-, I wish yeah. they would have stayed that, honestly. Yeah, they decide they're going to get a little more serious. So, of course, when Bloody Mania comes around, uh, they have Sabu and ICP versus the Young Altar Boys and Trent Acid as the main event. <laughs> I, anytime the Louisville anyone... Slugger Thumbtack Bat Match. That's nothing compared to titties and thumbtacks, though. Is that you have to have your titties out or the winner gets titty thumbtacks or loser? I I don't even know where you start with that. Yeah, maybe like <laughs> that's something we might need to explore later on. Yeah, I think there's a lot of things we should explore. <laughs> yeah, I know at least one. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime anyone brings up Sabu, by the way, I immediately think at one time Sabu had a Facebook page, and you know how you have to like 
Like it was like a personal account, so you have to like have like a first name, last name. Sabu's yeah. face was a name was Sabu, 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 Sabu. <laughs> Dude, listen to the first Bloody Mania card here. Let me see. There's 5,800 in attendance. Wow. Which is crazy. That is off. packed. That's Ultimo great. Dragon versus Jimmy Jacobs in the first match. Okay. Pogo the Clown versus Abdul the Butcher and Jake the Snake Roberts. <laughs> what? That's a three way. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, was Andy Louisville Cap? Slugger, That's still crazy. Thumbtack Bat Match, Too Tough Tony versus Bull Pain. That's sounds Tag right. Team Match, Too Cold Scorpio and Just Incredible versus Holy Nasawa shit. and the Great Muda. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Singles match, Ron Killings beats Tracy Smothers in one minute and two seconds. <laughs> okay. Uh, a JCW tag team title eight team elimination match. Holy fuck! They what did the teams. Eight, they did an eight team elimination match in twenty one minutes. I don't know Dude, how this is possible. That's very what impressive. The they had Pondo and Necro Butcher. Okay. Uh, Axel and Ian Rotten. Okay. Jorge Santana and Tito Santana. Okay. Uh, Akira Raijin and Brute ICA. I guess this is Team All Japan. Okay. Um, the Basham Brothers. Whoa. Uh, Brutus Beefcake and Greg Valentine. <laughs> the <laughs> Head Shrinkers. <laughs> and wow. Human Tornado and Zach Gowan, known <laughs> as shit. the Pimp and Gimp Connection. Holy fuck, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> and Pondo and Necro Butcher won that match. Uh, yeah, that, um, that makes sense. JCW heavyweight title was Corporal Robinson against Scott Hall. Corporal Robinson had the JCW title, I feel like, for the entirety of my knowledge <laughs> of JCW. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then six man tag main event Sabu and ICP versus Young Altar Boys and Trent Acid with Andy Social. Who are the Young Altar Boys? Um, the Young Altar Boys were Young Altar Boy number one and Young Altar Boy <laughs> number four. <laughs> <laughs> young, young Altar Boy number four, also known as Silas Young. Oh uh, my god, what? <laughs> what? Young Altar Boy uh number one, also known as Kevin Kruger or Kurt Kruger or Weed Man. <laughs> Weed Man. <laughs> that might be di- Weed Man might be dysfunction. Do you remember Yeah, the- that's he was also dysfunction. Okay, that's a deathmatch guy, yeah. Um Holy so wow. that's Sounds like a crazy good show. <laughs> I want, we could ta- we could book Young Alter Boy one and four right now. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We could just run that. That's crazy. We got a yeah. couple more things here. Uh, James, you'll like this one. Uh, Jared was also unhappy with AJ Styles, CM Punk, and Christopher Daniels for all three coming out publicly supporting the ROH promotion. There's a lot of jealousy right now because TNA is pushing its product to uh, hard on the internet, and its audience is probably heavy internet skewed. Ironically, its live audience consists of people, according to those who are in the stands, who never visit wrestling websites. But ROH gets so much praise while TNA is largely ignored or criticized. TNA has yet to order its talent to not appear, but when everyone signed contracts, I figured there would come a day when ROH using TNA contract guys was going to come to a head. Uh, yeah. So a lot of a uh, lot of anti ROH heat right now because yeah, they, of course they're not. Uh, <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot. Um, and it gets worse, but um, it does. Punk talked about that too, where it was like, you know, they came to all the ROH guys and they're like, "Look, uh, you guys can't, you can't work these ROH dates anymore. Yeah. Like, if you work for yeah. us, like, you're just not gonna work these ROH dates." Did they do this like Aries too and Roderick? It was to everyone that was working the card at the yeah, time. Okay. But yeah, okay. But yeah. you know, the ROH guys all got together at the time, and they they were like, "All right, look, you know, fuck TNA." We're yeah. not doing TNA anymore. <laughs> We're doing ROH. And then like Punk woke up the next day and came to the show or whatever. And like no one was there. And then everyone fucking decided to take the TNA deal. And then Punk was uh, like, the, Punk was like one of the only guys left. So it was no. like, so Gabe had to kind of put, you know, that's, that's why Punk got his like big run in sure. ROH. Yeah. Oh, wow, right? Yeah. Cause that's a lot of crazy. those guys did want to take those TNA dates. So I could, cause Punk said Gabe was never, Gabe, like it obviously that changed when Punk Obvi- sure. got crazy, but yeah, um, Gabe never. I, he said he didn't think Gabe saw him as like the big Probably star. Not, or no, anything. he was just booking him as, um, and bullshit around that time. There, I mean, you know, they were doing the Saints and all, but nothing like you but know, then, high you know, priority due to him having to push Punk. Uh, Punk stepped up, and that's how his career changed forever. It's crazy, wow. man. That's yeah, nuts. TNA kind of pushed Punk to that level which is crazy yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's weird to think fucking, of. yeah that's fucking crazy uh last thing here teddy hart at the recent shows was collecting guys phone numbers claiming that brett and him would be starting an indie promotion in calgary 
When Brett found out, he posted on his website, a member of the Hart family has been telling wrestlers and others that Brett is target territory in the immediate future. There is no truth to this. <laughs> so we wanted <laughs> to let you know because when it doesn't happen, it would look like Brett is the one who changed it up on everybody when there is no truth to it whatsoever in the first place. <laughs> wow. Teddy Hart. That's awesome. Stay in Teddy Hart. He probably moonsaulted off a cage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Without telling anybody. <laughs> So there you go. That was uh, going on in the world of wrestling around the time of this uh, draft lottery. So everybody's wow, fighting, okay. and everybody hates everybody, and everyone's angry. That's and- fantastic. <laughs> I want the, the Wild West days of pro wrestling, man. Very. Yeah. It would just, 2004 doesn't feel like it would be Wild West times. No, but, but there's a lot of shit Everyone's going, going crazy. Now take the drugs, the money, the <laughs> sex, we need to get the sex, oh, man, the sex. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, before we get into this, can I just tell you the dark match? Because I thought it was kind of funny. There's a dark match to this show. Oh, sure. Is it Takeshi uh, tra- Morishima? I always just assume it's Takeshi Morishima. Travis Tomko match. defeated Lenny Lane. In dark Lenny match. Lane! That's the Damn, name I don't bro. hear. I thought Lenny Lane. They saw more yeah. in Tomko than they saw in Lenny Lane. Well, they were right. <laughs> 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 All right, so we start with the cold open here. Yes. Uh, the Raw and SmackDown locker rooms are hanging out backstage as the draft lottery is live tonight. This is awesome. They do the uh, the bumper at the top with the Eric B- Bischoff face at the end, which is iconic. And they turn up the crowd noise, too. It goes, Whoo. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I love this locker room split here, James. This is fucking awesome. Yeah, the presentation here is really, really cool. Everyone on the Raw side is wearing Raw shirts, uh, and they're also all in their gear as well. Um, so, like, Hurricane and Rosie are in the front wearing Raw shirts and their whole gimmick. Then we go to the SmackDown side. Everyone is not only in SmackDown shirts, but SmackDown hats. <laughs> Kurt, yeah, they, they were branded out of their minds. Kurt Angle's wearing his backwards. Ray and Ultima Dragon are wearing them on top of their masks. <laughs> that was awesome. It's <laughs> fucking sick. Bischoff and Heyman are backstage staring at each other. Uh, Heyman has a neck brace on because Undertaker tombstoned him on SmackDown That's, last week. Jim, it's not a, Jim's not exaggerating. It just It's just a shot of them staring at each other. <laughs> Uh, Vince McMahon walks up and he says, tonight is the first draft lottery. He has to explain the rules for some reason. <laughs> you do. I was con- confused when I heard draft lottery. I was like, is this the first draft? No, we already watched the first yes, draft. Yes, it's what the is lottery. It? What is the draft lottery? We're going to shake things up. <laughs> By God, we're going to do it. Uh, there's going to be a, a, how he describes it is very interesting. I don't think maybe the word Tumblr ha- doesn't exist yet. There's going to be a, a bin <laughs> of SmackDown Did stars. Did you say bin? <laughs> bin. <laughs> and you get to choose Bischoff and Heyman. You get to choose from the raw roster bin. <laughs> and there'll be 12 picks all together. And you can trade anyone you wish as long as you do so by 12 midnight tonight. The show ends at 11, so I don't know why they did that. You know, Go to to WWF.com. Supplement- yeah, yeah, the supplemental draft they used to do afterwards. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. You're right. Uh, I also don't know. That they didn't really trade anything. Well, they. I think there is a trade, and that's why a big name ends up back on yeah, there, Raw. There's a trade, but oh, also, can you, only trade, can you only trade people that were drafted, or can you trade other people? They didn't really go into that. Oh, you know what? Know. I think... I think it's anyone because I believe I'm jumping ahead, but I think the Dudleys get traded for Triple H. The Dudleys get traded to TNA. <laughs> <laughs> You're also correct. Well, there. Sorry about that. Uh, Bischoff says my champions are exempt, right? And Vince said, "No way, Bucko." <laughs> <laughs> uh, Heyman and Bischoff try to shake hands with Vince as he leaves, and he just fucking big leaves him. He said, "Fuck off!" <laughs> yeah, no one is exempt on either roster. Everyone is a part of that. No one, no one. All of you are in the the bin. You're in the bin. I don't care if you're here or you're not. Randy Orton's throat is fucked up. Tonsillitis. <laughs> you are working. <laughs> <laughs> now take the drugs, the, the drugs, sex, the, the drugs, the sex. The generation <laughs> Let's of drugs. get it on the sex. Drugs. Play that fucking music. This, do, is this like very do, do early music. version of this? Because this intro video has a lot of clips that I don't recognize. Yeah, I needed more Stacy Keebler. One of them is just Maven doing a dropkick. <laughs> that's his move, baby. There yeah, he is. I, just, Maven, I know that. that. <laughs> there he is. Maven, that's what I think of the dropkick. <laughs> and there's Maven doing the dropkick again. Yeah. He's got that. He's got that down. His finisher in the games wasn't even a dropkick. It was DDT. 
<laughs> That's crazy. There's a no way we are not making a drop kick a finish in this game. We can't even. We don't have the technology to make a shitty move like that a finisher. We can't yeah, do it. Sorry, right. bro. So they have everybody here: Jr. King, Taz, Cole, the whole commentary team. They have their own Raw and SmackDown name cards. Two yes. pedestals, gold bins. It's Dude, there's a cool. guy behind Cole and Taz with a small blinged out WWE title on a necklace. And he That's keeps showing awesome. it off. It's awesome. This presentation wow. is very tight. Like uh, everything is very well branded. Like SmackDown has this very own unique thing. Raw is very yeah. unique. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the way that they like present that the guys. Very stark contrast. I know like obviously SmackDown's blue, Raw's red, but full red shirts full blue shirts like yeah it's kind of interesting to see like yeah smackdown here. guys come out to the smackdown with the smackdown like nameplate uh these smackdown commentators for their matches mm-hmm. or whatever yeah it's, very it's cool. Fucking cool yeah uh we have the draft lottery town hall of course bischoff comes out to his you know ah, i'm back and Heyman comes out to his infamous theme well you let us know how it sounds james <laughs> so what the hell is this? I don't know. I, like, I feel like he does use that for a minute, but it's so unrecognizable. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is going on, people. man? He should have came out to the SmackDown theme. Okay, yeah, they, you're right. Uh, so Heyman says he was assaulted by Undertaker on Sunday, <laughs> Thursday night SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> this past Sunday, this past Thursday. Let me try that one let more me, time. I'm let me try that one more time. Paul Heyman keeps saying that this is Paul Heyman SmackDown, which that is cool. It's very. I know that. I know that. Like Paul Heyman's that was not written down. Like I was going to say they say, definitely didn't. Like Vince didn't say you have to call this Paul Heyman SmackDown. He probably hated that. Actually, uh, yeah, that's probably why he said, so, You know what? Actually, you're drafted and you're fired and get out of here. <laughs> You go down to fucking Louisville. You get out of here. <laughs> he also started everything with ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul Heyman. Some things never change, I guess. Everything, yeah. Yeah, you're right. He also said he'll deal with Undertaker in his own personal way. <laughs> Which I, I, eventually, that means he's going to kill Paul Bear. <laughs> he'll be back. <laughs> Paul Heyman rolls the gotcha machine and he pulls his ball out. Uh, it is It is literally gotcha balls that you open up and it has paper in it. It's like the Royal um, Rumble. Yeah. And Heyman says, so, yeah. one of the premier groups on Raw. I was like, oh, damn. Okay. That's this, an evolution. I was like, or- well, they're going to, yeah, because they zoom in on evolution. So I was like, okay, it's not evolution, but it's like, it's the first one. You know, you're going to like, you know, people are, you want people to stay tuned in. Like, this is going to be rocking. Like, oh, I wonder who, the, like, who's going, like, who's a big tag team? Like, I don't know. Maybe. I don't even know. I, I had to evolution. I was probably, thinking NWO or something. NWO around at this time. I don't even know. I, I think they're gone. Thinking off the top of my head. Yeah, but I was like, yeah. maybe. Now the know. NWO at this time was Chavo Guerrero. Uh, <laughs> super crazy. It was just Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> right. You could, There is that whole that big show. You know, the NWO is yeah, not at this course. point. Shawn Michaels was around. The NWO, Flair, Big Show, and Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? The fuck? Well, one of the premier groups on Raw is being broken up right now yes. due to this ball. Yes. Dot, 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 dot. And it is. Rene Dupree is the first fucking draft. I could not believe this. You can feel the the air being sucked out of the venue. <laughs> Why didn't you start with like Chris Benoit or Triple Any- H or something? A- anybody else. I mean, unless I thought Rene Dupree was cool, but like what? <laughs> Michael that's Cole a- says Michael Cole says, that's a great start for SmackDown. <laughs> He's trying to sabotage SmackDown. He said, I'm trying to go to Raw. <laughs> I've had it with Taz. So they show backstage Sylvan and Rob Conway look concerned. Everyone is, for some reason, looking offended that Rene Dupree is going to SmackDown as if it was his choice and if they gave a fuck that Rene Dupree was going to SmackDown. <laughs> yeah, uh, so Rene Dupree, uh, I actually wrote down here, they have got to be fucking insane to do this <laughs> first. They show like an ESPN breakdown of Rene Dupree's career. Okay, uh, I, do, I do like that they did those for everybody, though. They are. I like this a lot. The presentation yeah. was very, very cool here. Um, they obviously were taking time and trying to make this seem like it's, you know. Yeah. Which is yeah. crazy because, like, they, they just... I, I don't know how many more of these they do, but eventually it goes away, like, forever until, like, the, they go to Fox or whatever. <laughs> well, you know how the splits always go. They always just yeah, give yeah. up on them. Yeah, you're right. Um, he had his first match at the age of 14. 
Yeah, he, he was only 20 years crazy. old here. He probably faced Pogo the Clown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he probably faced fucking... Uh, Abdullah the Butcher. <laughs> dysfunction in a 20-man yeah, elimination was, bat tag. He was young altar boy, <laughs> too. <laughs> uh, Dupree, I think... Dupree still wrestles now. He does. He's in Noah, right? You're right. He is in yeah. Noah. Um, yeah, he's crazy bastard. With Simon Gotch and all of them over there. Right, yeah. Noah's uh, group of guys, like foreigners, they have right now is insanely fucking like it's cr- just the craziest Dude, fucking super ridiculous crazy roster I've RVD. ever heard. <laughs> what, what the, the fuck? Hell? Did you see the three hundred thousand dollar bounty Noah has right now? They're begging for somebody <laughs> to watch the show. <laughs> There's a bounty. You, you, the Dipper, could fulfill this bounty. Noah has a bounty. This is current day, not 2004. This is 2022. Uh, Noah has a bounty going for $300,000 where if you can help them break into the American market to get more people to sign up for Wrestle Universe, they will give you $300,000 U.S. If you help oh. Noah break into <laughs> the American Stock mean? Exchange. Yeah, no, yeah. What the hell does that help mean? Them help fraud the government. Yeah, well, we'll give you three hundred thousand dollars. You get more people watching DPW. Per right? <laughs> wrestling, Noah is begging somebody to show them what cryptocurrency is. Three hundred thousand dollars to anyone who could tell them the next coin. Dude, you could cl- you could clearly just say, "Nah, you didn't give us enough fans. Sorry, we can't pay you." Yeah, like how do you even decide that? I don't even know what you would come up with. Yeah, just book. I don't know. They, Someone, I, they've they, already exasperated everything I would have said. I would have been RVD. like, yeah, get, su- yeah. get super crazy in RVD. That- <laughs> That's all I got. What more can you ask for? I don't know. Y'all, y'all are fun with the bag. I, I, I'm about to send an email. Yo, I, this fucking young altar boy number four is going to be <laughs> on TV real soon. So you got to. He might be facing the cowboy guy in the AEW. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> <laughs> uh so commentary then starts talking as dupree comes out here uh dupree Whoa. comes out takes a picture with paul Heyman on the stage very funny i'm sure <laughs> yeah. that picture is somewhere in the archives or something i feel like that camera didn't work actually it was just flashed there's no think nothing yeah. Give it camera uh commentary as dupree is dupree is the number one pick <laughs> walking down the ramp first guy you see in commentary goes you know how cool it would be if like a star was picked, like <laughs> HBK or Benoit or RVD. No, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Dude, they immediately start. Whoa! What other superstars can come and smack down? Stone Cold. <laughs> no, they didn't. Future, future Rene Dupree. He's the future. He's the future of the business. No. What about Shawn Michaels? Oh, no fucking way, yeah, man. RVD, come <laughs> on, guys. Stone Cold, RVD, Shawn Michaels. Who Rene else Dupree, can come Stone over? Cold, and Shawn Michaels. <laughs> All the stars are here. Hey, that's for our wrestling to... Noah next year. This whole this whole draft is all the stars are here. It's Renata. literally just that meme in general. Um, Doesn't Rene Pre get Fifi when he goes to SmackDown? I mean, the star. Uh, Fifi is coming. <laughs> <laughs> all the stars are here. <laughs> <laughs> Sky's the limit for Rene Pre. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's like Rene Dupree like it's it's actually crazy because Rene Dupree it wasn't even bad at this point no he's still no, he's no, still no. not bad but they jabronied him so bad they so, hated this young piece of <laughs> shit French bastard well Fuck yeah this the guy, segment, man the segment following just uh, we Dude, Rene that. Dupree comes out here and cuts the craziest like word to word little promo I've ever heard in my life Rene yeah. Dupree grabs the mic and go. I will die in hell <laughs> <laughs> before the last memory of me on Raw is Steve Austin giving me the stunner. He legit says, I will die, I will I die, die in hell. <laughs> Wait, why are you going to hell, man? What do you do? I will die in hell is the craziest shit I've ever heard. You think they told? Yeah, you got there. And you said I'd rather die in hell. No way! I bet they said you say you you need to say something that's like, oh man, I would I really want to be out here, but I don't you know I don't want my last thing to be Steve Austin said. What what did they tell me to say? I I I, I will die in hell. <laughs> he says uh, he demands one final match here in Detroit, Michigan, and Bischoff and Heyman look at him and say. Yeah, all right, go on. And then they just leave. 
and then Renee says, I'm challenging any of the Raw jabronis in the locker room to face the French Renam. Renat de Bras. <laughs> Just fucking <laughs> crazy ass name pronunciation. He should have kept that forever. Rene Dupree's finish should have been called Die in die, Hell. Die in Hell? He should have <laughs> adopted that now in Noah. Die in Hell? <laughs> oh, that'd be crazy. I was like, I, I, I switched. I like switched so hard. He said, I would die in Hell before I fucking lose this match. Yeah, that's so never like, that's my guy. <laughs> that's that's never what pick. <laughs> <laughs> He's on Paul Heyman SmackDown for a reason. Yeah, he's a good pick here. I like it. Um, open challenge to the back, and out comes Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho is pissed because he got cucked by Christian and Trish. I don't know if the word cuck was existing in 2004 yet, or else they would have said not. it I don't think so, 100 no. times on commentary. Uh, Jericho is very oily. He's wearing red and pink gear. Uh, he got betrayed at WrestleMania, and he is going to beat Rene Dupree's ass. So much so... That he's going to beat him with an enziguri. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, Jericho beats with an enziguri and Dupree like throws an el- a-, a shoulder up at 3.1. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Chris and Jericho will chipper. never, yeah, right, blue yeah. ever <laughs> forget March 14th. <laughs> JR with these very specific dates. It's not, it always sounds like it's the darkest day in the history. You're right. He will never forget that day ever. March 14th. What the? Uh, Renee does the French tickler. Lawler calls it a funny little French dance. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, you 20-year-old bastard. You are fucking... You should die in hell. You're right. You just want to Taz, do that. When Taz used to do the thing, you would... Uh, uh, I don't I'm Fuck a French Taz man. To, I do yeah, a French yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wish he would have just butted in here. Hey, he's on our show now. Ah, I'm a French man. <laughs> uh, Renee, so there's a, a little bit of miscommunication at some point here. Renee gets hung up on the second rope, and Jericho's going to do the running crotch to the back of his head. But Renee just gets off the rope. Jericho has to pick him up, punch him in the head, and put him back in position. <laughs> he hits it. Of course. And then Inzagiri's Renee. One, two, three. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> what an exciting way to start off the draft. <laughs> they beat the number one draft kick by Inzagiri. <laughs> Not even, <laughs> <laughs> Not even the walls. Not even the walls. So oh. Jericho, I I will say this much. Jericho's look here was great. I He's love. Awesome I love the yeah. velour tights with the yeah, fucking. Yeah. yeah, this looked really cool here. Um, but he beats him and then just leaves. Yeah, uncomfortably yeah, he leaves. Does. He keeps looking back at Renee, and he doesn't walk up the ramp either. He goes off the side. Shitty fucking match. You kept looking at this shitty fucking <laughs> match. Fucking, it's a geary <laughs> bastard. Blew this yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> the first twenty year old. I'm pick. shitting. I'm going. I'm running it back right now to shit in your bag. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, <in> Noah. <laughs> so Dupree. No chance. <laughs> Dupree gets back up. He doesn't even sell the enziguri. It screams in the mic that he demands <laughs> respect. I am not going to be cheated like this. Oh, here it goes. Oh, shit. It's Jeff Austin's here with ATV. Let's go. Stone Cold is a crazy son of a bitch, man. He drives out on the ATV, swings around the corners of the ring, smashes into the announce table, circles Holy back around, shit. drives by the announce table again, laughs at them. <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets in the ring. He goes to shake Rene Dupree's hand. Rene Dupree, of course, takes it because he's a 20 year old piece of shit. Yeah, takes a stunner true. and Stone Cold drinks beers. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That is the. This is the number one career ever. <laughs> he, he got paid so much more than Rene Dupree. <laughs> so, so much more. Steve Oswald just having a good time, man. This That's is so, so sick. sick. That's it for Monday Night Raw, people. everybody. What are the stuff? Oh, my God. What you say, he Tony? got free unlimited beer for the rest of his career for that's no reason. Yeah, that's my crazy. gimmick. I drink beer. I need free beer. That's my gimmick. <laughs> it's crazy, Tony, because he was just drink- He didn't even ask for the high grade seats. I was like Bush Light and Coors and like, that's yeah, like $7. Beer, you know? you gotta- that's awesome. Oh, shit. Uh, we have the draft lottery town hall again as we come back from commercial. 
but not are. before Rico and Jackie Gata are in the ring during their entrance. They're not a part of the draft. They're just they're not the a ring. part of the draft, and they're also in the <laughs> ring. And anyways, Eric Bischoff, <laughs> what the don't hell worry about them. <laughs> Why are they there? I <laughs> don't know. That was very strange. Uh, Eric Bischoff says, you don't need to worry about calling them the world's greatest tag team anymore. Oh, no. Evolution's breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no for, first he says, if SmackDown's a better show, then why did McMahon choose to do this on Raw? Huh? I mean, um, that's a fair question. Uh, so they break up the world's greatest tag team. Yes. Um, obviously, uh, they had plans here because yes. Shelton Benjamin is coming to Raw. And uh, which, I mean, that works out for him at the beginning. Because this is around like probably kicked. he does this. He, that's I think that's is that oh five? That might be a little bit after. Or maybe um, I'm not sure too. actually. Uh, um, but he he does get a pin over Triple H, doesn't he? He does. That match was crazy. Yeah, yeah he that. does. They they he did the T bone suplex and that's beat right. him. Holy shit, that was crazy. Yeah, um, that was awesome. That was like cool. That was a, that's a good reason to switch somebody to a show if you're gonna do something. Sure. Like yeah, that. exactly. Yeah, if you have plans for him, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Renee Dupree. Um. Rico and Jackie Gata are still in the ring. Yes, they um, are. Shelton Benjamin's career highlights in WWE. Uh, one of them is University of Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> they, show, you know. they show Shelton and Haas in the back. They're not happy. Behind them, also unhappy in SmackDown hat, is referee Mike Kyoto. <laughs> Oh man, I like rapping you guys. I love calling your really? matches, guys. Uh, Kane's pyro goes off. Yeah, well, they're waiting for Shelton to come out to accept his raw hat and shirt. But Pyro goes off. Here comes fucking Kane. What happened to Shelton? <laughs> Did he die? We set Shelton on fire? Why is no one concerned about the whereabouts of Shelton Benjamin here? Kane is here for a match. <laughs> Kane, well, we have to, Kane versus Rico with Jackie Gata <laughs> is course. up next. Shelton didn't come out quick enough, so now we have to get out here to do this match. <laughs> Rico is throwing kicks at Kane, and Kane is selling them. Dude, shockingly, dude, this is what happened. Kane hits the <laughs> ring. Rico is giving Kane shots, and Rico is confused on why Kane is not cutting him <laughs> off. So he's stopping he and throwing them. he throws kicks, throws, looks at him, gives him an opening. Okay, throws, kicks, throws, <laughs> looks at him again, waits for an opening. I'm G Kane. <laughs> Kane, he keeps it and waiting for Kane to cut him off. Kane does it. Then Kane fucking choke slams him. Kane went and out here and made Rico look <laughs> as bad as humanly possible and beat him in 20 seconds. <laughs> And then he just flips backwards over the ropes, looks real cool, and leaves. That's he awesome. never even pans back over to Rico or Jackie Gata. Fuck y'all, man. We also never hear about Shelton Benjamin for the rest of the day. <laughs> Where is he? Where'd he go? What the fuck happened? What uh, the Shelton doing? Kane so gets to the top of the ramp here. Listen. Uh, and he calls over Heyman and Bischoff. He needs double mics. I'm going to let you here. know, if double mics happened at an indie show, I think the arena would explode. Holy There's no Yeah, you're right. Dude, those mics so close. Of mics, did you notice like some mic issues during this? Was it the mics were fucked up, or did Heyman keep hitting the mic with his neck braze? Oh, I don't know. I kept noticing like random like mic twitches. It was very annoying. I it must like, have been Heyman messing happening? with the mic on his thing. He was so doing it on Heyman purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Paul Heyman's <laughs> fucking show. <laughs> uh, Kane grabs him and he says, you two listen close. He's very breathy here. It doesn't matter where I end up, but I better not be on the same show as Rene Dupree. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I'm a French man and I'm doing French tickler. <laughs> oh, I'm a French, I'm a French oh, man right. and I don't want to see it. Now he's talking about The Undertaker, of course. He doesn't want to be the same show as The Undertaker. And Kane does the pyro and then leaves. He does the pyro, it shows the ring. Rico and Jackie Gator are nowhere to be found. <laughs> what happened to him? Where'd they go? I don't know. With Shelton. <laughs> yeah, they're with Shelton. <laughs> uh, Paul Heyman then draws a name and he smiles and he looks down and he looks there and goes, Oops. <laughs> it looks like they're breaking up another tag team. Uh, another super group, he says. Holy shit, <laughs> man. Here, all right, so it's Pan <laughs> it's Evolution. Evolution. It's got to be Evolution, right? There, Tony, evolution. This, is, this could be worse than the first one. <laughs> and you know what? Could be is wrong. This is worse than the first one because I 
and I, you know, I am in the trenches. I have very little to no memory of this being a team. <laughs> Yo, Donna's one second, one second. Okada on AEW! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> the Rainmaker! He looks just like me. It's fucking crazy. Holy <laughs> shit! What'd he do? That's awesome. Uh, he just came out. I'm not too sure uh, what happened so oh, far. He had the here. Oh, did he? Oh, he was going to yeah, Rainmaker Jay White, it looks like. Yeah, he came out here. He's oh, with Hangman he's... Page and Jay White. It's going to be a four way then, huh? Oh, my God. How about Okada wins? Over Okada, all your big I'm guys. Okada versus Tanahashi <laughs> for the AEW title. <laughs> do like a tag match or something. Wow. They did. The, did he have? An, he. I guess they had the entrance right, like coin drop and all. Yeah, they did the coin oh, drop and everything. Oh, that's so sweet. Sick. Wow, that's cool as fuck. <laughs> that is awesome. Okada said, uh, "You are pregnant. What are you gonna do? I'll see you." <laughs> Okada said, what, "What's the what's the dollar signs looking like on that?" <laughs> okay, I guess I'll come over. <laughs> <laughs> Noah is kicking itself. <laughs> Damn, what do we do? Yeah, how do we do this? <laughs> Somebody RPG. get Mark Jindrak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so, right, back to the show. <laughs> Mark Jindrak is the member that is going to SmackDown breaking up the super group of... Take, just super think, group. listener, listener, think about it. Who would Mark Jindrak be teaming up with that they're breaking up here? Uh Triple you H, Batista, it. and Ric Flair, and you, right? You almost, almost, Tony James. You want to take a shot at that? I think Who it's would... got. I think it's got to be Charlie Haas and Mark Jindrak. <laughs> <laughs> Super group. You're, you guessed it, Garrison Cade. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> Super group. What the fuck? Bro, this lottery is. They say oh, fucking the crazy. Here. <laughs> did you already mention that JR will no longer be able to point to the superstar and call him Blue Chipper? Oh, yes. He, that's right. Heyman did that's say that. Oh, unfortunately, said. JR will not be called Chipper. Now there goes a Blue Chipper because SmackDown welcomes Mark Jindrak. And Mark Jindrak's accomplishments in the WWE are he was a WCW tag champion. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> His only highlight, WCW tag champion. I also don't All remember right. the theme song he used. Very strange. Oh, mm -hmm. man. This is... Uh, I can't believe the all-star team of Mark Jindrak and... <laughs> Garrison Cade, of course. Garrison Cade. <laughs> <laughs> have been broken up. Well, uh, so devastating. <laughs> draft lottery <laughs> returns after commercial. Overall, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Bischoff now has his specs on. He says, Raw is the home of good-looking people, and the next pick is really going to bring it home. Raw picks Nydia. So I, they show Nydia? Didn't recognize her. She like her hair looked totally different. It was crazy. Yeah, was she like, looked way different. Yeah, uh, this she is post awesome. Jamie Nable. Uh, Jamie Noble, my bad. Yeah, Eric um, Bischoff. That's right. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Jamie Nable on. is also coming with Nia. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he's an ROH right now, actually. So no, he's, he's not. The champ. <laughs> so Nidia's accomplishments were, of course, she won tough enough, and her accomplishments are also her measurements of thirty-eight, twenty-four, and thirty-six. That's awesome. That's crazy. <laughs> what of the course, hell? Nidia is excited to go for the women's title. That's what she says. She's also excited to take her shirt off with her bra out. She takes her shirt off because she wants to put on the Raw shirt, of course. And JR says, I think she's going to leave her mark here right on Raw. Uh, Nidia is released in November. <laughs> well. <laughs> Paul Heyman says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope you go blind Sorry again. about that. <laughs> Hope you go blind again. Hope you go blind yeah. again, bitch. <laughs> <That's so bad>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John Cena's music hits. Do, 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 do. And Taz says, the doctor. <laughs> what does Michael Cole say, though? What does he say? Oh, my. <laughs> oh, he does say that. Sorry, I think oh I have my? like an oh, oh my shit. blocker in my head. <laughs> I could. I was like, he was doing oh, my here, too? That's what crazy. I don't remember that. Yo, yo, Cena yo, is yo. crazy here. Listen. The blue jersey, U.S. title, the thickest chain with, with fucking padlock ever. <laughs> Yeah, this was a uh, this when I was young, I thought this, this is like this is that dude right here. This was the guy, yeah, 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 was, yeah. This, oh man, <laughs> see if it says the franchise crashing this party. Paul, don't get hot at me. Uh, he's wearing a neck brace because he's he's blowing the whole lottery. 
You see, because he's saying he sucks at penises, Tony. Yeah, of course. Oh, he says, I'm the lottery it. pick. They both want to get their hands on. This ain't no junior high dance, so fellas, keep your pants on. He said, because they would want to fuck him, Tony. Paul Heyman, you, Paul Heyman, you suck penis. You are. You want to fuck penis me? Penis sucker. You want to fuck me, Paul? <laughs> you look like you want to have sex with me. And if you draft me, save your t-shirts. I ain't kissing your butts. That's what he says, butts. <laughs> We're in the D, baby, so you can choke on D's nuts. And he throws a pack of nuts at Paul Heyman, who slaps D's away. D's nuts back in 2004? Yeah, Holy it, shit. I, rem nuts? I mean, I remember D's nuts when, uh, jokes when I was going to school. I don't know what how it resurged <laughs> during in, like, 2020, but... Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, Heyman smack he yeah. smacked his nuts. You mentioned he smacks him away. Smacks he throws them at Heyman, and Heyman was able to smack it out of the air. <laughs> that was Get out of here. with a broken freaking neck. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Cena says, you're the general manager, but I'm making the next pick. And Cena just reaches into the tumbler and takes out a ball. And he says, I'm giving you one ball, but you still got no. Dick! Crowd, the crowd <laughs> yes, dick. <laughs> Paul Heyman has one ball and no cock. <laughs> what the fuck happened that's, there? That's it could shoot. have been anything, actually. It couldn't have been. It could have been like pews. Yeah, I guess maybe the fan. The Detroit is a. They need to get it together there, mate. It could yeah, have been anything. So. But if Paul Heyman does that. have one ball and no dick, that is, that is crazy. That's ECW that's style. Giant Gonzalez style. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Paul Heyman says that is not my pick, and Bischoff says yes, it is. You bitch, now open it now. Why is, why is that? Why is that allowed? Why is oh, Heyman just says, oh, all right. Why does Heyman just agree? What the fuck? I am not entirely sure. Well, Heyman is happy about it in the end of this, of course. Well, he shouldn't be, but well. Paul draws <laughs> Triple H. Ah, he says, Bischoff, you sure you want me to take this pick? And he says, you you own it. You wrote it down. You, you wrote you it, and it. I read it. <laughs> I'm reading it. And Triple H is going to SmackDown. He spits water all over the locker room. Flair and Batista are pissed. Kane is laughing in the back. We come back from the commercial. Locker room is chanting, na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey, crazy. hey. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> uh, Triple H throws his water bottle at them. Teddy Long puts on his thinking face as he leaves. I don't know why he did that. <laughs> I am thinking. His <laughs> <laughs> thinking emoji. Evil thinking. <laughs> This is like the famous Triple H spit take, though. This is pretty cool yeah. to see this in uh, real time. As it's yeah, happening. yeah, yeah. Um, that's cool. Kane is in laughing in the back like a little freak. <laughs> <laughs> that's how he laughs. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Christian versus Spike Dudley up next. I actually thought this match was fun as hell. Yeah, I mean, they're both really good. They are um, real good. Christian's um, with Trish Stratus. Do they explain? Maybe I missed it. Because uh, last Monday, Trish... Hit uh, Christian jumped Spike on the ramp before his match, and then Trish hit him with a chick kick, and Christian with the on pretty on the floor. W uh, why? Look, man, I don't really care about that. What I care about here is <laughs> Christian. <laughs> what is Christian wearing dude, at this moment? That, lo that long sleeve. <laughs> Holy fuck. This dude had belt boot cuts, mustard yeah. and ketchup long sleeve tee that like was a, a schmedium. It looked like an antique shop rug. <laughs> he is wearing a rugged yeah. wear watch. This is not like a like a, a nice watch. This is a like a, I'm gonna go hiking watch. Yeah, this is yeah, exactly. the craziest fit I've ever seen. And he it's beats awesome. Spike Dudley's ass. He whoops his ass. Uh, I don't know why he jumped him, but he did. Uh, so Spike fuck you, down. Spike Dudley. Yeah, I guess you're right. You yeah, bitch. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Oh, I was watching, you know, speaking of Rene Dupree, by the way, you know, he has a podcast and he like, it's actually good because he just lets people, he just call, has them come on and he stay, he's like very close to the camera so you can see half of Rene's face and he just lets them talk about yeah, that's awesome. He's, yeah, it's fucking great. Uh, I think he said Spike Dudley is a stooge. I think that's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, Rene Dupree is like one of my favorite pro wrestling Noah guys. I, I love him, man. <laughs> RVD. <there. Yeah. laughs> so Spike rushes down in the ring. He hits him with a Spike Dudley headbutt Super from the video. Crazy. Hell yeah. <laughs> so crazy for that. 
<laughs> Hell yeah, Tony. He, almost, he got a two count off the SVR spike on the headbutt. Yeah, SVR <laughs> headbutt. Let's go. A two I count love. is crazy off that move, two by the way. Two count off the headbutt. He's got to put the online scene over, bro. I hated playing online. Fuck, dude. I definitely headbutt. put that in all my guys' movesets. Nine I foot those. tall, big ass <laughs> cock, 100 overall demon CAW, and he's got the fucking spike deli headbutt. Fuck no. you, man. <laughs> <laughs> and his, his name was XXDX Satan. <laughs> and just so I put it in, your time, in the time frame, dude, there were no video game patches at the time. You would no you couldn't way. patch this out of the game. You had to fight for it. Wouldn't matter. Like, it wouldn't matter. Like they yeah. would patch the game. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying they could have. But right. they, no way. It, was, it wasn't possible at the time. <laughs> you watch the Scooby Doo movie, Tony. You see what the damn game fucking studio does. Patch the game. You're right. You're right. Patch the game. The yeah. game. <laughs> well, I don't know. I should it check out the fix. <laughs> I should check out the Scooby Doo thing on Patreon soon. Sure, you should check it month. on Patreon. Yeah. No pressure was great. Dot com slash so, dead like No sure. pressure was good. <laughs> it was good. You it should go good. check it out. DVW on the bed. <laughs> That's what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, Spike gets a two off the Spike Dudley. Christian's in the deadlock gear, by the way. Shouts out. I like this gear for Christian. The RNG. Yeah, I love that shit. I think it looks kind of cool. I mean, he's got like the three. I always thought like the whole three piece gear is kind of crazy. Like wearing the tights like underneath the or like over the trunks. The, yeah, the trunks yeah, yeah. over, the, trunks the, over tights the tights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. crazy. Um, yeah. But it's a cool look. It is. <laughs> uh, Christian goes to scoop slam Spike. Spike turns it into a DDT. That looked cool for a two count. Christian goes for a suplex. Spike turns it into a roll up for two. He's just like transitioning into pins over and over again. I thought that was fucking pretty sweet. Uh, Spike double stomps the shit out of Christian. Another Spike Dudley video game classic that I spammed. Hell yeah. <laughs> the top rope double stomp. <laughs> yeah. uh, Christian throws Spike in the ring post and then hits him with the unprettier for the win. Uh, the Spike Jerry Dudley Lola. one was cheese because he landed on his feet. If you do the double right, stomp and you go to and your lands knees, on his, you're right. Yeah, yeah. But he goes to his feet, so you can just go straight back to other moves. It's fucked you up. You can you can go right back up and do another one. Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> Spike Dudley was a stooge. <laughs> you could have bashed that, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Jerry Lawler on commentary is jerking off to the idea of Christian and Trish making out. Jr. says, "How could a woman like that want her hair pulled?" <laughs> What the? <laughs> and then he goes, I'll explain it to you after the show. <laughs> uh, so we go to a draft lottery town hall again. Yes. Um, Bischoff is not fucking happy that Triple H is not on his show anymore. No. Uh, th this, this is isn't not fair. fair. This is not fair. It's not fair. I got to find Mr. McMahon. So he runs backstage. He does. <laughs> he just runs away. <laughs> he runs to the interview spot like he's playing one of the video games and goes, You're oh, right. well, I'll be goddamn. There he is. Hey. It's like when you play uh, Just Bring It and you can run around backstage in first person. Or I guess uh, Shut Your Mouth had that too. And you just, there's just people standing there. And you just walk up to them. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vince is chilling and they have a conversation about Triple H uh, switching off shows here. Yeah, Bischoff says, Heyman didn't make the pick. Cena made the pick. This isn't fair. And Vince says, it is, it is what it is, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, says, he says, once the pick has been chosen, it's official. Like, he could, he, he, it's out of my hands, man. Like, I, I can't do. Not, I could not do anything. I don't run this fucking company at all. <laughs> I didn't make these rules. <laughs> I, nothing I could do. And Heyman walks in, excuse me, I have an idea. Tonight, the WWE title gets defended by Eddie Guerrero. Uh, Eddie defends the WWE title against SmackDown's newest acquisition, Triple H. And Bishop says, you can't do that. This is my show, bro. And Vince says, yeah, bro, you out of your mind? And Amos says, well, I'm doing what you would do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, you out of your mind, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Vince says, ah, I got to look after both brands, you know. Uh, so this this match, Eddie versus Triple H, uh, it's going to happen tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he says, it will, in fact, happen tonight. It will, in <laughs> fact, happen tonight. All right. Uh, and everyone's waiting for your next pick. So get on out there, please. So they yeah, just why go does, back out. So they'd go back to the stage. Yeah. <laughs> the, this whole thing is crazy, like the Vince thing, because he just they announce a WWF title match tonight. Yeah. And it's just randomly made an hour into the show. <laughs> On guys that were just traded. To just to, trade. Yeah. <laughs> On Raw. And there's SmackDown guys. The draft yeah. isn't even over. <laughs> Eddie might be on Raw after this. Vince almost said WWF title also. that's He, he would have fucking. He said it. Eddie Graham versus Triple H for the WWF. 
That, uh, we're gonna have the mess tonight. He would have looked at Heyman and said, "Why'd you make me say that shit?" And headbutt him. You're gonna be done here. You're going. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of here, bastard. Now that you mention it, James, that is a crazy match to just do halfway through the show. Eddie and Triple H, it's like a huge fucking match. That's like a money match on any. Dude, yeah, that's like built to a pay per view match. Yeah. As as far as cage match goes, it is the only time Triple H and Eddie Guerrero were ever in a match together in any capacity, ever. That's- that's they only crazy. no tags, no six mans, nothing. Only a time ever is this match crazy. here. That's, I didn't know that. That's yeah. pretty insane, actually. That's how is up. Eddie's been in the company since what? Oh one, two thousand. And Triple H still. He was on. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, I can't wait to get to that match. <laughs> ah. Um. No. <laughs> uh, we go back to the stage. Uh, Bischoff ends up drafting Rhino. Right. Well, he says, "I got. I'm not going to be upstaged by Heyman." Uh, and whoever I draft next, I don't care if it's, he says this, I don't care if it's Big Show or if it's Michael Cole, whoever I pick is facing world champion Chris Benoit for the belt tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, my next pick is a man who has tremendous amount of admiration for, and a man who can match the intensity of Benoit from the Motor City of Detroit. He's on the world's greatest tag team. <laughs> he is the super- blue chipper. <laughs> Rhino. <laughs> They show, like, they, he says from Detroit, and they show the shot of the backstage area. No one in the backstage also knows who's from Detroit. <laughs> like, they, no, they didn't, like, uh, like figure it out immediately. I also was confused. Rhino celebrates. He does the you can't see me taunt in front of Cena's face and then leaves. <laughs> they show his list of accomplishments. They don't list that he was the ECW TV champion, which I was tilted about, and I wrote down here. <laughs> he threw his shirt at Paul Heyman. He get, yeah, he threw his shirt. Why do that was, shit? And then took the raw shirt and put it on. Yeah. Who's the fucking man? <laughs> <laughs> uh, WWF Rewind brought to you by WWE. Snicker Cruncher. WWE. What did you just say? WWE. WWF Rewind brought to you by <laughs> Snicker Cruncher. Eat this or die. <laughs> Is that what it is? No, I don't know what okay, it was. Okay, because I believe it. <laughs> Crunch these nuts. Yeah, crunch this. Booker hits Bubba with a bookend uh, to retain the tag They showed titles. a TNA match for some reason on with this. With RVD. I don't know what this was. Nothing's <laughs> against totally main event mafia for some reason it's going crazy. on. crazy. So Booker and RVD versus Flair and Batista for the WWF tag titles is up next. We're going to go three segs here for this one. <laughs> yeah, holy shit, man. <laughs> this Dude. What is this RVD Booker theme? <laughs> what the fuck? I do not remember this at all. What the it's hell? the Booker Man, y'all. This is what crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, crazy. The man. it's the Booker Man. It's the Booker Man, y'all. And then, it cuts, then it cuts and it goes, can you dig it? Then it cuts it's to RVD, Booker, or Booker T's original theme. theme. I don't yeah. know if I even remember this. I, I like, don't either. This is crazy. <laughs> When I heard it's the Book of Man, y'all, one of a kind, I thought I was going fucking. Did, I thought I had two th- streams open. That's what I thought. I thought I watched like a YouTube video in the background or something. It's a Book of Man, y'all. It's not like hate the player, hate the game or anything. No. It's just it's a Book of Man, y'all. And I'm Rob. <laughs> <laughs> This is crazy, man. Yo, you gotta let me on this track. <laughs> R-V-D. <laughs> Dude, according to X, XY Lot, there's, there's three versions of this theme song. There's a what? Uh, there's three different versions of this theme song. Of this? On X, <laughs> yes, of this song. Holy fuck. Yeah, also... Also on the on the fucking match card before the match, it is always it throws me off every time I see RVD without the wrist tape. It's, it's, I know. I was like, what's wrong here? I was like, is it elbow pads? It's, I was like, oh, it's wrist tape. Why? Yeah, is it, fuck, he wears man. huge wrist tape. Yeah, I know. Fucking Crazy. damn it. Well, Raw is also brought to you by Walking Tall. Ninja Gaiden on Xbox. Unleash your the Ninja original Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden. That's wow. crazy. Ninja Gaiden on Xbox. Unleash your inner ninja. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And YJ Stinger. I've Fuck never. Did you? you did you ever? That's did you, did you ever? Stinger. Stinger. <laughs> and YJ Stinger. Go, Fuck you. <laughs> YJ Stinger. Go to hell and die. <laughs> <laughs> that should, we should buy ad time on shit. Just, Brought to you by fuck you, man. DPW. Fuck you. That's what Tony Khan does on Twitter to advertise Rampage. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking. 
fucking hate corn nuts. Rampage at 10. <laughs> <laughs> Why Jay Singer sucks. Rampage at 10. <laughs> Yo, please look at this. What? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Dudes with attitudes. <laughs> What, what the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> Holy. Sting, Darby <laughs> Allen, Shingo Takagi, and Hiromu. Dudes awesome. with attitudes. That's so fucking sick. That's DPW out of their mind. Holy shit, man. Wow. That's crazy. That's, that's fucking awesome. Who are they facing? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, they're facing the Bullet Club. Holy fuck. Wait, let me see which part of the book. Yeah, club. there's okay. a lot. That could be anybody. Wait, Randy Nick that? Jackson. Oh. What, what, I They're don't know. Really, dude. Okay, no, it's the Young Bucks, Hikuleo, and uh, Phantasma. Okay. Or sure. whatever that dude's name is. Yeah, they're losing it. big time. <laughs> El <lost>. Presador. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I've heard that name in years. <laughs> El Presador will be at Forbidden Door. <laughs> Noah, we him, got it. Put him in a wrestling ring, bro. You you made a video with El Presador. El Presador versus Mark Henry. <laughs> <laughs> that is a classic. Dude, email Holy that to shit. Noah right now. Holy shit. <laughs> AEW just destroyed Noah's whole shit. Oh my god, bro. Dudes oh with attitudes? Come on, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, so here comes Flair and Batista. This goodbye evolution sign with a strange head drawn on it for some reason in the crowd. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that's about. Flair is wearing his black tights with the red RF logo on it, but wearing purple boots and knee pads. So he's checked out. <laughs> Fuck. This match goes for fucking ever, man. Yeah. yeah. No, it I does. Feel like I feel like they were like lost a lot too. You know, they were like <laughs> kept, they kept like there was a lot of miscommunication. Like Flair would do yeah. something and there was, something would be mistimed. Flair would beg off and Booker would go for something and then like almost blow his ankles out having to stop himself. There's a Jr. bleeds gravy sign in the crowd. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck, RVD, man? RVD, so the, Booker does the he pulls Flair off the top. Flair dies. RVD tags in while on the top rope. <laughs> I don't know if that's legal. I think <laughs> they say awesome. that on commentary too. If he has, uh, did he have one? Was he on the, fully on the top rope or one foot on the apron? One foot on the second rope. One foot on the top rope. Ooh, that's a tough one. I don't he know. might have been holding the tag rope though. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I don't know the rules <laughs> on that. Referee's discretion on of that. Of course, he hits the five star on Flair, covers him, and then rolls out of the ring because Batista comes in to attack him. And Raw rolls on after this. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. What well, the now fuck it's time happened? for Raw zone, baby. <laughs> what happened there? What the fuck happened? That was weird. Uh, Batista goes for the Batista bomb. Already hits a jumping back kick to try to break it up, but he kicks Booker T in the fucking head oh, instead. No. And then uh, gets shit canned out, and Batista hits the Batista bomb, and Batista and Flair are your new tag team champions. Oh, wow. Actually yeah. kind of a cool finish there. It was a very cool finish. Uh, and the match wasn't, like, dog shit. It was just no. long and Yeah, awkward. just super long. Yeah, I felt it was yeah. very long, yeah. yeah. Uh, Batista looks crazy here, He man. does. He is, like, um, <clears throat> seeping juice. <laughs> yeah, big style. <laughs> chicken breasts. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's two chicken breasts one spare good style. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Flair and Batista uh, are the new tag champs on Raw. Yes, and the super group is no longer a group anymore. Yeah, we already talked about Mark Jindrak. Just, Draft lottery group, town right. hall. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Bischoff picks yes. Mr. Thursday Night Raw Van Dam. Van Dam. <laughs> oh, damn. Michael Cole yells out, check out the stats. <laughs> Already RVD just lost is the goat. I don't make the rules, man. This he's is the, the greatest. This yeah. is like yeah. the dude right here. I love RVD, man. Yeah, he's the shit. Uh, they go backstage. And this is RVD... awesome, by the way. The backstage segment here. It's cool because they. Uh, it's Booker T and RVD backstage. Booker's like, yeah, we're gonna get the belts back. You know, we got that rematch clause. Uh, and he's like, that was a little mistake. Don't worry about it, bro. You're you're cool. We'll get we'll go back. Which is cool because you know. Usually wrestling tropes are, oh, you fucking kicked me in the head and you definitely did it on purpose and I'm going to fucking kill you now. Yeah. But was like, yeah, no, bro, that's, so that's cool, bro. This is pretty uh, compelling. Yeah, uh, they're like, okay, we'll just, you know, we get a rematch clause, we'll just fucking do it again. Coach walks in and says, nah, bump that. You get nah, no the rematch. Dick eating is crazy. You are not getting a tag title match. <laughs> you just got drafted to SmackDown, you idiot. And already's, what, are you serious? What are you talking about, man? We're a team. 
A uh, ghost yeah, said, no, you're fucking <laughs> out of here, man. See ya. <laughs> and then leaves. And leaves. <laughs> <laughs> RVD gives the Pago face. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. This is crazy. Yo. It is, uh, that's, I like that cool angle, though. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool, too. I yeah, thought yeah. that uh, Booker not being like, you know, shit happens sort of thing, you know, like yeah, whatever. fuck you, man. Yeah, Why'd you kick me, man? Obviously, he didn't mean to kick him in the head or anything. Why'd you, you know, do that just... on purpose? <laughs> uh, so then we get Chris Benoit versus Rhino up next. For the world title. Uh, Dragon Guard is sponsoring WB Backlash. Now, this is what I was waiting for, James. What the fuck is Dragon Guard? I've heard of Dragon Guard. I never played Dragon Guard. Um, Tony, do you know what Dragon Guard is? They've made a couple. Uh, it's an RPG game, right? I don't know. Yeah, what it is, no, though. it's a Japanese RPG. Oh, is game, it? I think. Okay, yeah. and it's sponsoring the pay per view. Yeah, I think. Uh, you said they made a couple of them. Yeah, I know they made at least three. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Um, let me see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I genuinely never heard of it. Deb you know immediately what? accused me of having played it because she thinks I'm just a <laughs> fucking video game nerd to play every fucking game. Yeah, I didn't know so it I was. I think Guard has something to do with uh, Nier, if you ever played... Uh, oh, I have not, but I know of, of that game. I know of Nier. I think it's like... A, I, you know, I don't really... I don't know too much about it, but sure. I know I yeah, think yeah. it's in the same Similar? line. Oh, okay. Jack I think it's in the same uh, line of games. Okay. Yeah, it's an alternative timeline set... After oh. a different ending of the first Dragon Guard game, you know what? Okay. That sounds very exciting. Near Automata, by the way, is goaded. If you guys yeah, have I not played that shit, yeah. that I shit play is. It. I went Near Automata right. sponsor yeah. DPW because that I, shit is I mean, crazy. I've been playing that all the time. You don't know anything about it. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> you never played it. <laughs> You yeah, don't well, know no, about your, 2B yeah, and well, A2. You weren't I'll, there. I'll fucking whoop your ass. I was in, there. I'll whoop your ass in Halo 2 anytime, Sean. You want to fucking If you really want to take this to yeah, the streets that, of Halo 3 yeah, 101, yeah, Xbox Halo 360 two, Halo, Edition, you Halo 3 add one title together, update, and three. I will spin your ass one in a circle. Three, you talking to me? One and two Guardian, BR only, <laughs> rifles on map, sniper, no overshield, OS not there. I will slap it up. Yeah, I got all that and then some. Your Automata is a good game. All right, that's good. And Dragon Guard is a bad game. DPW No Pressure was it's good. good. <laughs> <laughs> DPWOnDemand.com. Okay. Uh, some guys walking by at the beginning of this match, just holding up a Austin middle finger, foam finger, and just walking by. I thought <laughs> that was great. so sick. Uh, Rhino goes for a power bomb out of the corner. Benoit hits him in the head, and Rhino alley oops him into the buckle, which I think is an underrated move. I love me a good alley oop. Alley oop. Oh, I, I think love that. You should do Especially a big, big show, show video game style, James. <laughs> that was awesome. Did you, did you count as an alley oop? I I mean I th I think so because it's it's the same like direction. It's not um because it was power bomb into it, it was a hesitation, but I think yes, I think I would. Yeah, it felt like more like. Rhino just kind of threw him off his shoulders. I didn't have any better way to type it <laughs> with more words. So. But yes, I agree. The alley oop is awesome, and I thought this was a really fucking good cutoff. And I wrote this down in my move. Good. List. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is a great cutoff. You, remember the, you know that? Did Big Show ever do it video game style? You know what I'm talking about? Where he, he just it's power bomb, and he just goes backwards, and it's like catapulting you alley oop. Oh, like tosses. I don't yeah, think so. Like you, it, most of them, from, they hold on to the show, they hold on to the legs as they come down. Yeah, it's like what the fuck. Yeah, I don't That's know. Crazy. I don't know if yeah. I've ever. If someone can send me a clip of Big Show actually doing the alley oop from the video games in real life, I would love to see it. Uh, Rhino puts Benoit in the sharpshooter. Jr. I swear said, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> he did. He didn't know what this was. He had no idea what the fuck Rhino was going for. Which what the fuck, Rhino? Which I guess was weird because I don't know how often I've seen Rhino do a submission. So it was this was little, awesome. Rhino yeah. gets a sharpshooter. Benoit actually sells the sharpshooter for like a good thirty seconds. It was actually a pretty it good. Was, it, like, I move bought here. it. I was like, "Oh fuck, are they like? Is Rhino debuting like a move here? What is going uh, on?" Here? And then Benoit ends up selling it until he can figure out enough to leverage himself to the rope. Yes, this is sweet. This match is good. Uh, Benoit takes Rhino down to go for a sharpshooter, but Rhino gets the rope, so he's both kind of just doing a lot of fucking back and forth work here. Rhino goes for the gore. Benoit moves. Uh, Rhino bumps the fucking buckle, turns around, cross face, and Rhino taps out. Benoit retains the world title shockingly here in a match that was just booked 10 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Benoit gives Rhino the three Germans here, and he was so Woo! nice on these. Throwing, yeah, was, yeah, uh, yeah. It all, he, but it still looks fucking sweet, though. No, no, it's you're great. That's 
probably why like people are cool yeah. with it you know yeah, i feel yeah. like kurt was way more vicious with his i yeah. was like <laughs> yeah. uh Benoit was good at giving you your bump and i thought yeah. this was cool yeah um diving headbutt looked great the uh he Rhino tried to go big by the way he is like, he's not as big as he was in tna he gets bigger actually he does get bigger i just yeah. i, I it, it fucking boggles my mind how rhino like how many titles did rhino have in wwe i, I don't feel like i feel like it wasn't many no, Definitely. no, I don't think so. Or how many I, world title shots I he know, actually got? Uh, Hardcore, of course. Everyone fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, he had the. Oh yeah, he had the WCW US title in WWE. I don't remember course. that. And he was SmackDown Tag Champion with Heath Slater. Oh yeah, that wow, that was a long time. He was later. never Intercontinental t- Champ. He no. had ma- he had that Intercontinental match with Kane that one time. That was pretty good. That was a good one. You're right. That was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, man, it, I mean, was if, awesome. WWE cared about work rate at all. Like, I feel like Benoit probably could have been champion for a while. Like, he obviously this match was kind of just put together, and like they were able to come up with some pretty unique shit to kind of play this one out. So that was kind of yeah, cool. That's true. Um, I think Benoit only holds the title till SummerSlam. So. He, that's when he drops it to Orton, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah. Uh, we go backstage. Shawn Michaels comes up to Eric Bischoff. Bishop. With the creepiest is... smile I've ever seen. This is a weird <laughs> bastard. It's awkward. It is because they also have it like separate. From like the, they're at the interview segment. They're like at the backstage interview spot. He's watching the monitor. But yeah, so they're they're like off to the side, so you can see the light boxes on the everything. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Air conditions kicking fucking hard on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Going crazy. So Sean walks up and he pats Bischoff on the shoulder, and Bischoff turns out and he says, "Looks like the world title is safely intact around the waist of Chris Benoit." You know, as much as I want a shot at Benoit note that by the way as much as i want a shot at benoit this thing with triple h and myself is far from over uh and now that triple h is traded you got two choices choice number one is you trade me to smackdown and actually there's only one choice so trade me to smackdown <laughs> 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 but just, i'm not gonna do that uh, but i'm gonna be behind you 100 like never before and at our next pay-per-view you're gonna get a shot at the title and hbk says you know what that's fine. <laughs> Very quick to solve this issue. He didn't care about the shot of the title. He wanted Triple H. All right, how about a shot of the title? Bet. <laughs> he said, what better way to get back at Triple H than to take the one thing that means to him? And he says, this time the kick is going to stick. Did you like that line, Tony? Yeah, it's great. I remember that. The famous Shawn Michaels line. <laughs> <laughs> the kick will stick. You don't remember that? No, Brett never said that line. I know that much. Yeah, no he way. Did it, when he did it to Brett, he said the kick will stick. And then he and beat him? Yeah, no, he said the kid time, stick he never to lost Brett. To Brett. He, said, uh, he also said, I'm a little bitch. I'm a little bitch boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> I remember that one, too. Yeah, that I was like his famous that. line. They made that like was four on shirts yeah, he, with it. But he that never got heat. pinned by Brett, so it didn't matter. You know, That's also so. fair, though. He didn't. Yeah, Brett didn't pin a lot of people. He made them tap like little bitches. That is also he true. Didn't he didn't do that either, Deshaun, so it doesn't matter. He didn't tap on his right. He didn't tap on mine as well. That's true. Yeah, wrestling's fake. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I bet it is. <laughs> Got nothing else, huh? Tony Slam of the Week brought to you by Dragon Guard. What the fuck is this, James? <laughs> hey, Slam of the Week brought you know, by Dragon Guard. Near automation or whatever, James. Molly said, Holly is bald. Near <laughs> <Dear> automation. <laughs> You're know, a Tombada. Oh my God, man! Jeez. Fucking hell! Typical Bret Hart fan. Uh, oh my God! Yeah, don't even <laughs> tell me you put near automation. Oh my God! Here we go. <laughs> well, Molly Holly comes about- out with the wig on, and then Lita rips the wig off, and Jr. says that is really hideous. <laughs> why, why was Molly <laughs> okay. Holly's whole gimmick as well? Wow, look how fucked up this girl is. The slam of the week. Molly Holly is bald. Everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Drakengard, for sponsoring this segment. This woman is ugly, Drakengard. <laughs> Based. Uh, draft lottery town hall. Here we go. Coming Eric to Bischoff. Raw. Who's coming Who does to he Raw, draft? James? Who's Who does he draft? Raw? Who does he draft? Who does he draft? It's, of course, pro wrestling Noah's own Tajiri. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> the Japanese buzzsaw. Akio and Sakota are not happy about this in the back. Uh, who were with Tajiri at the time. Uh, and then Tajiri hugs them and cries because he knows they're both about to get fired. (laughs) 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 Sorry about that. (laughs) Holy shit. (laughs) 
Uh, so yeah, Tajiri is going to roll. Heyman says, you can do the whole cap and shirt routine. I'm bored. SmackDown is pleased to announce the former member of the Raw roster. His mic is breaking up as he does this. A very good friend of mine, Theodore Long. And they go backstage and show the shot of Theodore Long, who is very happy about this. Jazz, who he manages, is not happy. And Teddy Long does not care. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jazz says, I don't really care either. I made more money without you anyway. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> um, Teddy Long is drafted, and Taz and Michael Cole say, Believe that, believe that on commentary. Believe that, player, player, and player. Um, Eric Bischoff then draws Edge to Raw. Former internet continental champion is what he But says. he's not even here. He's not here. He's not even here, okay. though. How so can he get drafted? I, he's not even here. They obviously <laughs> Tony, You know what's funny about that? They <laughs> explained this at the top of the show. That and he not- was he was there, and he heard it. <laughs> How's he, he's not even here. He's not even here right now. How's he getting drafted? What are you doing here? Why I can was, just hear Vince McMahon going, oh, I don't have to fucking say that. You're confusing him. <laughs> Tell them. Remind those idiots. Say the commentary here. <laughs> fucking Edge's. Uh, obviously, I think they dub this because it's usually Rob Zombie. But did was this dub the Raw theme or... Or was it actually they just played the Raw theme because they didn't want to play Edge's music to give away the pop when he comes out later? Oh, maybe. Mm. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Because they use yeah. they dub Edge's theme with his, you know, you think you know me, regular sure, one. Sure, sure. Over the Rob Zombie one later. Here, it's just the Raw theme. So I don't I don't know. So if anyone has the OG of this, tell us what they use for this part. Yeah, for sure. Uh, um, Heyman says, wipe that smile off your face before I wipe it off for you. Anyway, uh, <laughs> to pick up the face like we do on SmackDown. <laughs> Our final pick of the evening is... And then Heyman throws the pick away. And Bischoff goes and this picks is, it up and says... This, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Bischoff picks it up and says, wow, congratulations. SmackDown gets Spike Dudley. Oh, hey, <laughs> come on. Come on, Heyman, man. That's well, fucked Heyman up. Like, that little fucking stooge is going on. Your lady priest said that bitch. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> With the headbutt cheese. Stooge they're never going to patch Dudley, this. Dudley, this fucking bitch. <laughs> they're never going to patch this. Patch. <laughs> 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 SmackDown says, well, at least on SmackDown I'll have someone to pick on. Anyway, so here's our final member. Dude, Whoa, holy hell. shit, They man. shit on Spike Dudley so crazy here. What the fuck? That's crazy. Yeah, Just that is fuck nuts. this little fucker. They start out with Rene Dupree and end with Spike Dudley. Wow. Well, what don't worry, fuck? Tony. It's not over just yet because Raw has one more pick here. <sighs> and Eric Bischoff's final pick is... Paul Heyman. Oh, oh my man. God! Vince said anybody. Wait, what? Can, how does every, that work? That how means everybody, Tony. That? Everybody can be drafted. How Paul did that? Heyman. Yeah, Tony. How did that happen? Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> Paul Heyman. Tell him that was explained to him earlier. He's not here. <laughs> Tell him that was explained to him. <laughs> <laughs> we said it at the top. <laughs> WWF. Fuck e. So they show the SmackDown locker room celebrating that Paul Heyman got drafted, which I thought was pretty cool. The Raw locker room is not happy that Paul Heyman's coming to Raw. Uh, Bischoff says it's going to work out great because I could use some help. You know, I got some laundry I need taken care of. My car needs to be washed. Uh, I got an internet bill, a phone bill. All inter- <laughs> got, got WWE champions to play. Yeah. <laughs> $10,000 of champions. Got to get that rock in here. Heyman says, listen, man, I would rather go die in hell than <laughs> with Renee Dupree. I would die in hell before I go to Raw. I'll tell you that much. He said, I will never sell my soul to a piece of slime like you. Screw you. I quit. And he leaves. And then Bishop says, all right. <laughs> no problem. He said, the good guys win again. <laughs> Another one for the good guys. Uh, he says, I've stood up to two general managers. I've stood up to Stone Cold, and I'll make it clear of the talent on both rosters. Eric Bischoff is back in a damn big way. My way. And then, oh my God, Edge is here. What the fuck? How is he here? They told me he wasn't going to be here. <laughs> He's not even here. Tell him They say that he could be here. <laughs> you so fucking Barry Spike Dudley. <laughs> fuck <laughs> so fuck Edge you, gets, Spike. Edge, Edge comes down. He gets in the ring. 
and then spears Bischoff, and Bischoff's head hits the bottom oh turnbuckle. My God. That's so oh my fucked, because Bischoff didn't he, want to take it. His head bounces off the bottom turnbuckle. He killed him, man. Why that was fucking did crazy. he do that? I don't Dude, know. I loved it, though. I couldn't even believe what that this? Bischoff <laughs> took the meanest, like, he didn't even bump for it. He just no, died. No, he dies, bro. It was Edge is in the doof. craziest attire in the world, by the way. What is this he somehow outfit? somehow found pleather pants with stars on the side of them <laughs> in the biggest Goldberg-ass jacket I've ever seen in my life, man. <laughs> This guy came out and thought he was Goldberg and speared Eric Bischoff. That's right. He does the was, rock spot. This is crazy, man. That's right. He all. By the way, he is, <laughs> nah, man. The digging's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't change to Metalingus until November of this year, so he's still using Rob Zombie here. I mean, that's good. Yeah, good. no, it is very good. Metalingus can metaling my balls in its mouth. <laughs> a- Analingus is what I would prefer. <laughs> Fuck Tony. You, Spike Dudley. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, Fucking Spike Dudley, bitch. little bitch. You suck. You suck. Tally sucks. He sucks. He sucks big time. Uh, <laughs> Unlike DPW No Pressure, pick. that was good. DPW No Pressure, that good. That was good. Spike Dudley, bad. <laughs> Rampage at 10. <laughs> uh, so Triple H versus Eddie Guerrero, once in a lifetime, legit. WWE title on the line, the only time they've ever wrestled each other ever, as far as I know. At least singles, for sure. For sure singles, but I don't think they've been involved in a match together ever, which is insane. It is. Uh, Triple H comes out with the Raw shirt on and rips it off to expose the SmackDown shirt, which is uh, I I vividly remember that in my brain, like him doing that. Uh, They go crazy on commentary for it. Why is he wearing a Raw shirt? He he can't wear a Raw shirt. Why is he he on SmackDown? Why is he wearing a Raw shirt? (laughs) (laughs) You're right. Uh, he is also gigantic here, by the way, and not using steroids. Who? Triple H? <laughs> this whole main both. event? Yeah. <laughs> the whole scene. Dude, Eddie looks like he's about to burst out of his skin. Like, it looks his like his shoulders skin, are about to explode. It's stretched to its max. This is yeah. like. Yeah, this is insane. That's fucking nuts. He comes out and he uh, tilts the low rider on its side and it looks like it's going to flip over. I was very horrified. But he gets a big Eddie chant, which uh, was pretty cool uh, going up against Triple H here. Um, they start the match. Eddie extends the hand. Triple H goes to take it. But Eddie then smacks his ass in his direction. Uh, he wipes his him. own ass with his own hand. <laughs> that wow. is with his own hand. He does it. I wipe my own. I wipe my own. I wipe my, 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 my own ass. I wipe my own ass. I know, buddy. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Why do you win? Because I do. <laughs> I win. <laughs> That's Eddie Guerrero. That's Eddie, way. yeah. <laughs> so Triple H throws Eddie into the stairs at one point and fucking destroys him with it. That was crazy. A <laughs> uh, bunch of back and forth here. A lot of Triple H on top, of course, but Eddie This gets was a well-worked TV match. Uh, it was. They, it they was... start off with the international, which is insane. Seeing Triple H take a hip toss and arm drag from the smaller dude is always like crazy, but Triple H was never afraid to bump for dudes like that. No. Um, dude, Triple H took cause... a tilt world head scissors from Eddie here. Yeah, and the crowd popped for it. Good stuff. Yeah. I mean... Uh, Triple H was on top for a very long time, but that's kind of how it works. Um, and I, everything was good in this match and fine, like until it gets down to like the end of it. So Eddie uh, does a jump back off the second Tornado DDT for a two count, which was cool. Uh, Eddie goes for the three amigos, but then here comes Flair and Batista wearing their Raw shirts. Now, during this match, by the way, uh, it is Cole and Taz commentating this because it is a SmackDown match. Once Flair and Batista come out, it changes the JR and Lawler commentating. <laughs> which that I was, was awesome. That was I crazy. love that. Yeah. I was so thrown off. I was like, what just happened? I was like, oh, because it's raw now. Okay. Triple H hits a DDT on Eddie. Flair distracts the ref. Batista gives Triple H the title. Cena and Ray come out uh, to attack Batista, whooping his ass. Triple H goes to hit Eddie with the belt. Shawn Michaels gets in the ring. Sweet chin music to Triple H. And then hits a house show dive on a pile of people on the outside. <laughs> I've never seen a group of people catch somebody as so well. So nicely. Yeah. I, yeah, as well as they. It, it was like everybody knew their career was on the line. If they didn't Especially catch Ric his, Flair. <laughs> catch this house show dive. Somebody was going to get fucking killed backstage. And it was going to be Spike Dudley. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> so Sean hits him with the sweet chin music. Eddie goes up for the frog splash. I'm like, whoa, does Eddie fucking win here? That's awesome. He's the champ. That makes sense. That's cool. Eddie goes for the frog splash. Christian crotches him on the top rope. Disqualification. I should have known better. Holy <laughs> fucking <laughs> shit. I should have fucking known. The Holy crowd was so hot, man. Fucking shit. This is the WWE champion. Cannot believe that Triple H wouldn't just take the frog splash pin for this one. You could have kicked out at 3.1. Yeah, you're right. I the crowd was so ready they for it. it. So and they never go back to it, which they is even never worse. return to it, no, which is Oh man. Yeah, that's insane. I don't Fuck, know. Fuck man. Crazy. Uh, I mean, especially so, after Eddie Eddie sold his sold his ass off for Triple H in this yeah. one. Like it was a lot of Triple H doing his shit and Eddie was selling like crazy for him. Hell yeah. You couldn't just take the frog splash finish even after the interference from HBK. I don't and know, the, bro. The that's a little splash, weird, bro. I'm just gonna say. Everyone the frog splash is made. He beat Brock with this fucking thing. Yeah. He fucking yeah. beat fucking Kurt with this fucking thing. Everyone has lost to this fucking frog splash, man. Come on, man. Yeah. A little weird. Just a little weird. Cringe. Spike Dudley. L. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Fuck Ar you. Arvidi comes in. <laughs> Arvidi comes in and attacks Christian because Arvidi is now on SmackDown, so he has to beat up the raw guy. All the stars are here. Johnny Nitro, Lance Cade, sorry, Garrison Cade, Val Venus, and Lance Storm jump RVD. The SmackDown locker room empties out for the brawl. Eddie and Triple H are brawling in the ring while there's a big fight around the ring. This is a cool fucking scene here. I actually, after, I'm disappointed by the finish, but all this stuff I thought was fucking chaotic and, and fun to watch. Um, uh, Lawler and JR said, come on. J Lawler says, come on, JR. We need to go down there and hit Cole and Taz. <laughs> 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 Which is fucking crazy. So SmackDown's whooping ass. Glass shatters. Stone Cold comes out on the ATV, and he's bringing the troops. The Raw roster empties out. There's a 40-man brawl to Stone Cold's music. Austin gets off the ATV and starts beating up SmackDown Why? Guys. Why do you get off the I ATV? Why not drive the AF ATV down there like GTA or something? Just he should have drove. Over. He should have ran people over, Tony. You're right. <laughs> that been awesome. So Why did the Raw roster not want to come help till Stone Cold brought him out? They don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> they work tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Chris Benoit didn't want to help Eddie or anybody until no Stone Cold said, Hey! Fuck, get, get on down here, son. Hey, get on. What are you doing? What are you doing, Spike? That's a little crazy. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, so the show ends with a big... Uh, brand brawl, which was a cool way to end the show. It ends with a ski woe we're all out of time. Get Definitely, yeah. Uh, so the post-draft... Uh, is what takes place uh, before midnight. Kurt Angle uh, eventually becomes the GM here of SmackDown. Uh, in my mind, I was like, oh, Teddy Long got drafted because he's going to be the yeah, GM. that's what I thought. But that's no, what I thought, but... that's not what happens. Uh, Kurt Angle, I think, is kind of injured at this time. This is around like WrestleMania where like he called Vince and said, hey, man, my whole body is numb and I can't wrestle. I'm going to sure. do the match, but just letting you know that I, I can't feel anything. <laughs> uh, so Kurt becomes the GM. Drafted to SmackDown now, Booker T. So he, he, him and RVD are back together. Oh, that's fine. Uh, Bubba Ray and Devon Dudley. Rico and Miss Jackie. That was not a com combo one. Those were two separate ones. Huh. So, drafted to Raw, A-Train, oh. Chuck Palumbo, and Triple H. <laughs> Triple H goes back to what Raw. What a trade. What the does, hell? Does Triple H ever show up on SmackDown once after this, or is it immediately? I think he shows, just, up, I think he shows up on the, on the next one? episode. Okay, yeah, on the yeah episode that makes sense. And then he's immediately he gets, drafted back. So I yeah. think, I, I'm not positive. I'll look while I say this, but I think uh, that he was drafted back to Raw in exchange for the Dudleys. I think that's what happened. Yeah, I think that was the trade, yeah. That, that was Because um, obviously saying. this is an uneven thing. SmackDown had five people and Raw got three. So I think the Dudleys were the difference there, uh, which is which is sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's not a bad fucking switch up there. Uh, so there you go. That is uh, the first ever draft lottery. What do you think? Chuck Palumbo, James? It's awesome. I thought Chuck, you know, Chuck was a, a chameleon almost. I feel like any gimmick he ran, he was good with it. He was. He was. He was an Italian sometimes. He was the Undertaker sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Italian was Chuck Palumbo was awesome. Based as yeah, hell. That was like they could have ran for a long time with that. I think. What about Rico and Miss Jackie? You saw their tremendous performance against uh -huh. Kane. Uh, they are now. Well, of going course, to Rico, uh, pro wrestling Noah guy. 
<laughs> is that right too <laughs> i swear i remember him having a noah run <laughs> that's probably right honestly i how, I'm, how uh, rico wwe i'm guessing i'd have to look that up uh, a train was traded to raw on March 22nd, before I'm making sorry, his debut. All Japan guy. All Japan, of course. All yes. Japan guy. So it was A Train. A Train awesome. was also All Japan guy. New Japan. Uh, New Japan, A yeah. A Train went, uh, debuted on Raw on June 7th, losing to Chris Jericho. His last match was a loss to Val Venus on Heat, and then he tore his rotator cuff and was released in November. Huh. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> 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 so yeah, what a what a lot. Uh, well, this really is gonna shake things up, Renee Dupree. Triple H going back and forth is yes, <laughs> that very is on fucking brand. Crazy, yeah. <laughs> but there you go. That was the first. He switched rosters uh, just to get week. the world title match and then go back. Just to fucking not lose to Eddie. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Beast. He looked fucking gigantic too. Any yeah. other uh any other feelings about this draft? Fuck you, Spike Dudley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Spike Rampage!